to my channel if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe right now hit that bell notification so you can be notified every single time i post as you can see by the title today we are going to be making this skirt i'm going to be showing y'all how i made this skirt since a lot of people was asking me how did you make that did you make that yes i made it so that's what we're about to do this just gonna be like I'm just really going to be showing y'all how to make it, okay? I'm not going to be showing y'all how to do y'all measurements and stuff like that. If y'all want a separate video, we can do that. But, um, first thing you're going to need is, look, I'm about to get straight into it, okay? I ain't wasting no time. I ain't playing no games. But, first thing you're going to need, of course, is your thrifted ties. I washed and dried mine. So, some of them are all, like the little soft part in the inside came all messed up i might not use this because i think i have way too many on my on the skirt i made in a in that picture i only used 16 ties but you know you got to measure your waist and what i did i didn't measure my waist so i just was sewing these bad boys together and stopping in the middle, wrapping it around, see if it fit, and see if I need to add more. That's how I measured it. But y'all could do it. The y'all could get a skirt that fit y'all, and you know, set the ties on top, place the ties on top of that, and then you'll know. Or you could just sew a bunch of them together, stop, wrap it around, see if it fit. If that fit, close it up. So, um, we about to get started. You need to get your tape measure because i did i kind of did this at the end so it was like my skirt was like longer in the front short in the back it'd probably be like that again honestly because i was thinking of just measuring look at this one y'all it's so cute look at that it's so cute i was thinking about measuring like from the bottom up and how short I want it, and then do them all like that. I might do that because I feel like that'll be like easier. So, yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So first, hold on, let me show y'all my other skirt. Okay, so here's my other skirt, right? And like I think I had this part kind of at the front, so I'm kind of gonna use this as like a guide, I guess. So I'm basically, look how cute. This one is really, really cute with this one. I like that one. And I like this Snoopy one too. Y'all get y'all, um, if y'all gonna be doing this, get them ties from the thrift store because that's where I got mine from. So you measure from the point of the tie up to the top. And it's like 17 and a half. And then my little waist part was an inch. So it's 18 and a half. I only use, oh shit, for that skirt, I think I only use like 16. So I'm going to put 16 together, put it around me, see how it fit, and then we're going to see how that go. These are from when I first did the other ones. It's, I might add this since it's already, because I had cut this off when I had made my first one. You see how these look right here? All beat up. But the front look good. So honestly, I might add on to this. I need 16. This is one, two, three, four, five. This is six. That means I wasted my money on the other ones. On these other ones. But that's okay. Because I could probably make like a smaller one and put it on my Depop. Okay, y'all, I got my sewing scissors for cutting my fabric. So now, let's get the machine. I could show y'all from like right here. So you basically match the ends. You know how these, this part, the pointy part, you match the two pointy parts and then you do like a straight stitch. I try to stay as close to the edge as possible and you straight stitch all the way down 
till you get to your stopping point. Then you have the rows right here. So I'm gonna speed it up, but I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. Okay, so this is my sewing machine. I got the Runway Project Runway Brothers and my surges right here, but you don't need the surge. You just need the sewing machine. So I use the, I usually just use the zero zero, right? And then I put this to like 3.5. I think that's like, it's really like personal preference, but this, that is the like space that I use. Cause this is like the space, how much space you want um, between stitches. And this second one is, um, what's that one? how far over you want the stitch to be, but I just leave that how it is. And I got my white thread in here. She's ready to go. So let's, let's do this. Okay, so you basically match the corners like so. I hope y'all can see I match the corners. And I sew on my right side. So I have to flip this this way and match the corners like this and make sure my thing is up and then this is kind of like the hard part. Not too much hard, but whenever your stuff is not like neatly like this one and I had to fix it. Okay, y'all, so we hold this. Make sure y'all can see. So we do like two stitches. One, two, three. And then we back stitch. One, two, three. And then we just go. And then we just go with a straight stitch. We're going to stop right here. So when you get up here, you go up, do one, two, three, back stitch, and then go up again. And then boom. You cut off all the excess like this at the top and at the bottom. Like that. And then it should look like this. Like that. So I'm gonna do the rest and then I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, y'all, so I put them all together. Now I'm about to just basically freehand and like cut the excess. Okay, y'all, so this is what she looks like. And I have 16. I'm like a large, extra large. So I just use 16. It was like a little loose. That one I made it was like a little loose, but you'd rather it be loose than too small. I don't think I have to add that now. So just put these two together and you have a little out a little butt out but you just 
pull it down at the back and pull it up at the front. So yeah, we about to close her up because I think I don't think I need to add another another um tie. So what I'm gonna do is to close it up, I'm gonna put these two together like so, like so. And then sew them a straight stitch like I did with the other one. Okay, y'all, so it's done. She's done. So I'm gonna put her on inside out and see how it fits. So this is what she look like on, I gotta put the waistband on there. She, some parts are like longer than other parts. So what I be doing is Whichever part is longer, I put it in the back so my ass won't be hanging out. And then the shorter part, I just put in the front. So this seems like it's the shorter part. And then you just do that. So for the waistband, let me just show y'all right now. You know, you just measure. I This is what I like to wear my pants up here because I got a little stomach. So I just measure how many inches this is. It's about 40. So whichever, wherever your waist is, you measure it. Mine is 40 and then you take two inches off. So 38. So then you get your elastic. Hold on, let me get my elastic. You get your elastic. I'm using this. I think this is like one inch, almost one inch. And then you measure it, your 38 inches. This is 30, but it could stretch to 38. So I'm gonna just use this cause I don't feel like cutting that nails out. Okay y'all, so before I put the waistband on, I go around, you see all these, these like edges? I go and I search them all I surge around the waist. The edges don't look all um rough and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna show y'all how I do the waist. So what I do is I use um this zigzag stitch. So I'm gonna go up to three and then I'm basically gonna get both ends like this, both ends like this, put them together and just do a zigzag stitch. I do it like three or four times just to make sure it's like secure. So then, put my stitch back to zero and 3.5. Okay, so now this part is kinda hard, kinda not, it really depends, you know, on you. So basically, I just noticed my shirt got so much lint and stuff on it, but whatever. So you basically, this is the way I do it. Everybody do their stuff different, but I'm teaching y'all my way. I taught myself, okay? So don't don't come up under my post with your rules and stuff like that. But, so I basically just put the band inside like this. Make sure it's always on the right side. Like they all, you know. And then I just fold it over like this fold it down in the inside and just do a straight stitch all right y'all so she's done this is how the inside look whenever you are done 
whenever you all are done this is the inside but i try her own and i could fit her but she like the mini skirts like the hoochie mama like ass out short y'all be liking it so if you want yours to be that short make it 18 and a half inches i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna put me a little outfit together at the end do a little runway video for y'all but this is what she look like if you did her right look my stitches is all crazy and shit so don't talk about them but if you did her right she should look like this well i ain't gonna say right because there's no right or wrong you just do it how you do it and how you like it and then boom but this is the easiest way to do it so yes i hope i was a good teacher to y'all because i feel like this video was kind of like all over the place girl i got thread in you everywhere but i feel like this video is all over the place but it's my first tutorial so let me know what i need to do better if i did good and if y'all make this tag me because i want to see it no i did not come up with this i seen this on pinterest i got inspired from pinterest and i seen it on pinterest i'm like oh that's cute that's different let me make it so that's what I did, but I want to see if y'all use my video as like a tutorial or whatever, let me know. I mean, show me y'all results because I want to see. So yeah, my next video will probably be like an update video um, of the bridesmaid dresses because I ordered some samples. I might as well just show y'all right now. So I ordered some samples, y'all. Mind y'all, I don't think I told y'all the colors. Uh, champagne, a champagne gold, and um, I think it's called ter terracotta or something like that. I got these off Etsy, girl. So this is the champagne, right? It's it's good. It's good. It's the the color that she want. Supposed to be a four way stretch, baby. Do y'all see any stretch? This shit stiff as hell. So I'm sending it back. Because don't play with me. I don't just be out here just get, doing no anything now. This is my brand. I'm, I'm going to make sure everything is a thousand percent correct. Girl, this is supposed to be champagne. What is this? Anyway. They better give me my money back or something. So I'm returning this. And then the terracotta cutter that I found, because it's kind of hard to find in, in stretch fabric. The seller has not responded. My, my stuff's supposed to be here Monday. I know it ain't Monday yet, but still, I ain't getting no update, no nothing, no shipping, no nothing. Then when I try to go back and click the listing, girl, the listing is saying, look for me, child. A notification or whatever pops up and say the listing is no longer available. So now... I'm going to remain calm because this is what happened. I knew everything. I, I prepared myself and told myself everything is not going to go perfect. You're going to have some shit go down. So prepare yourself. And I'm prepared. So guess what? I ain't tripping. I'm going to just keep working. Keep working and keep looking. So anyway, yes, I hope y'all like this tutorial. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And this next clip is going to be a little runway. And I'm going to show y'all how I put this little fit together. Y'all know what I'm saying? All right. Peace, love, and blessings.